Hi, welcome to this uh, machine. This is my brother's computer. What I do, of course, is install everywhere I go, install Arch Linux. This is a tough etc. P360 from Asus. Core i3 it is, and you can read the rest. What is this system? It's actually an 18.9.5, so I have not updated since, well, September, early September, somewhere there. Um, so this is what this video is all about. Let's update everything. We can't have enough uh, videos about that. We need to stay rolling, and that's one of the advantages of Arco Linux or Arch Linux in general, that we do not have... Um, well, these uh, semi-annual or semi-annual uh, distros that we need to install everything again. So we can keep rolling. It's just a matter of figuring out, figuring out what changed, what elements have been added. And there are things that are coming from Arco Linux, which is here, still there. So this part is updates from us and all the rest is Arch in this case. and later on we'll update AUR because you know that update just updates the Arch Linux and Arch Linux packages. So the download is progressing. Uh, let's uh, make the video short enough and let's pause here. Okay, we've downloaded a bunch of software and it seems, and that's the biggest one here, that I've installed Xenotic on it totally forgot so I'm definitely gonna play Xenotic later on so it's a big jump from here to here you see this is a big download and now we're going to upgrade everything and wait for the pause again you see already what you need to do if you see these lines they are marked very well and it points to ETC scale so that does ring a bell I say oh I have to use the command scale later on that's the message you should have in your mind if you see these things here. So waiting for everything to update, it's one third on its way and let's pause again. Everything has been uh, updated. So this was command update. In these months, so September, October, November, and uh, we see a big, big bunch of XFC stuff coming up, coming in. So that has nothing to do with Arch Linux. It's all Arch that's his in here. So next up, um, we probably don't have yet the command backup scale. So that's one of the new things we've created. Um, so command not found, scale is that found, scale exists already. So what I've done with this command, use the alias and read. I've copied everything from etc scale now to my own home directory, which means, which means I should take a look at this thing and then I have my new commands. If we compare those two then we have a new command backup scale that came in so yes I want to have that as well I want to have microcode as a new command I want to have YouTube download and also rip so recent installed packages I want those as well and that's it so there you go we have the new elements new um, things Let's compare, see if I... Okay, I have saved it, fine. So we have the new elements here, but they're not applied. The only thing you need to do is source it. Source the bash RC, and now the aliases are in there. So backup scale will work now. And it provides you with a backup prior to the update would be better than um, behind, but okay. The alias did not exist yet so we cannot do that so last thing if scale is done you need to check if AUR has some updates so it has nothing to do with Arch Linux has nothing to do with Arch Linux it's a user uh, Arch user repository from all kinds of people and all kinds of sources and all these elements are now coming in and built we've uh, updated the Sardi icons we can quickly show you what it used to look like. So it used to look like this, but the green things are actually coming from Gnome, I have learned when making new icons for Sadi and Surfing. 
and um, suddenly PAMAC hour is here. Updates come in and we see different kind of icons. So, hey, what the heck? Um, so I've changed the Saturday icons. It's all explained in Arkelinks. Hello, please take a look at this website. Everything is contain contains, well, everything. A lot of information is in here. Also the Discord um, link. People keep asking me, hey, where's the Discord link? It's here. So there you can join us on Discord and it's a neat and fast way to communicate with each other and communicate with others. We have more channels right now. So it's an old picture. So I uh, just wanted to show the beta version here. Anything that changes can be followed up here. So recently I've made new uh, Arc Linux B versions of GNOME, of Cinnamon, of Deeping and of Budgie. So these are in uh, testing in beta. So that's that. And what we've done as well, so change these icons and here you see the look that we have now. It used to be after the update we get something like this. I said, hey, what's this? You can hardly see when it, what, whether it's installed or not. So a little small green tick in there, but we redesigned it to have it look like this. So we have the blue from the logo, Arco Linux logo, and this is selected to be installed, this is selected to be uninstalled and it's much more clear visual what's um, the intention there. So that's PAMAC AOR, it will be installed later on. It, this is the first look, well before the update, the update is coming along. We can't hold that back, we need to update. That's computers. He's downloading study icons, everything will be installed. Now <clears throat> what we can do as well is check if I've made new repositories. So I have created, I guess, awesome is not needed, BSP not either, GNOME, Mate, Plasma, not necessary in XFCE, but there was one um, package that you may want. Um, it's not necessary at all. So I'm opening up this folder um, voilà. like this. Oh my God. So like this. This is one of um, one of the last and newest um, packages. All it does is make a folder that's um, copy pasting all the logos to your home directory. But it's not in here. You know why? It's installed in your skull. So if you do this, then you get the Arco Linux logo. So if you need, if you're in need to color anything or something like that. We have PNGs in here, but also SVGs. So you just click it open and you can go crazy with coloring because of the wallpaper. I don't know. Uh, you say, I want to have another look, right? So it's up to you to have some fun with these things. Close without saving. So that's the Arc Linux logo folder that's new, or package that's new. Um, is there anything else? that we need, that we have not installed. We could install the OB menu generator minimal. So we have a different kind of um, theme then, a menu then, an open box. Third party is all installed already, I see. We've installed some of submicrons, wallpapers. So we're good to go here. So the question is, will this, um, well, ever end in updates, but think about it again. This is a PC from somewhere beginning September. So September, October, November, three months of updates are coming in. And in that sense, it's actually not that bad, not so much in AOR. And much of, his, of it was already Saturday and surfing. So uh, let's wait for that update to come in. I think um, I've uh, told everything. But let's pause. Thank God there's an error, otherwise I would no, learn nothing new from this video. So you see here this error about Sardi mono mixing icons. I have added two new um, icon sets to the Sardi collection and they were in another application, another package. So they're now gone from the old package and added to the Sardi icons, which means they're the same icons and Pacman 
says hey you are having already these uh, icons there so it's a conflict so that's good that's why pacman is there it's a package manager in the meantime i have also problems with um, as you see um, the mirror so my servers should be fix fixed so this is the command mirror that's the first thing you do I can always go to file system etc and then pacman d so this thing is now recreated because of that command it's going to go to leaseweb and I know what's going on these days but I better not go to these two and save it and uh, try it again so update everything goes quickly that's how it should go and those servers were not or are at this point in time not okay for me but they will be in the future so that's okay we have here these elements, so the Sardi Mono mixing icons. Um, I think both of them should go. Both of these guys should be uninstalled, then my problem is solved. So, actually the thing is, they're conflicting with each other and they don't know it. So, either you uninstall the Sardi icons, that's one option. That's maybe the fastest thing, because of the fact that I think these two guys conflict. If I am able to update these two, then I won't conflict with the SATI icons. So I'm gonna get rid of the SATI icons. So the way of the least least work. That's what, I, what I'm doing. Least work. That's all me. <laughs> SATI icons. So I'm gonna get rid of those. That's not my password, it seems. Okay. So, if I remove the SATI icons and then again ask to update everything, then everything should be fixed. Because these updates, the SATI mixing things here, these two mixing guys, uh, well, I, they will be installed for one, but you see net upgrade. So I've deleted something and that something is in the SATI icons. So, yay. So the icons, there you are again, come on, because it's going to be looking very ugly indeed. So, set the icons back, and now there's no conflict. What did we change? Well, to start with, we changed this uh, look. So we have now this blue thingy, which is much nicer. And if we click on something or delete something, we have these nice icons. That's done. And uh, Melt, for instance. Melt is fixed as well. Melt is one of the issues. HP is, a, is, is always an issue. I don't know why these developers don't change it. So we have a fix hard-coded icons in our XFCE settings, which fixes HP lib. Thank you. HP fixed. So there you go. Um, the only thing I guess I should do is go over all the details, uh, like this for instance, Ctrl T. Um, maybe I've done it in the past, so I'm not sure. I haven't checked really, I haven't paid attention, let's say it like that. So everything is in here. You see the repo is in here, the third party is in here, and the wallpapers are in here. So I did change something in the past because I changed already these mirrors 18.10.3 so a month ago I'll probably have updated it I don't know by the way we have this new rip thingy uh, rip command not found okay that's true that's true that's true that's true because of an application that we're missing we can actually do it like this alias so rip is not in here why is that let's have an investigation going on so compare yeah we did the scale we did the scale bad thing to do a scale so this time let's do it proper 
all the way because each time you do a scale you'll get the old bash rc back okay and old bash rc control c we're going to override the one in scale so when you do a scale you get the new one back in so that's that that won't happen again now to, we have to source it again source bash rc and then we do this rip thingy and that's a normal message so what in order to have um, these elements these these alias to work you have to install a package and the package is called xpack so extract the packages from the database rip again so these things this is the last thing i've installed this is before that and this is before that and so on and so on you can scroll up all the way to well till here i guess all right so that's your rip now there's also an alias called youtube something with youtube downloads of course this alias will not work unless And then you type something and then it says yeah youtube download is not found so you have immediately the reflex to install this command and there you go so that will work as well so those things have changed again article linux hello what changed on your system go to whoa go to two 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 uh, the beta versions this one that one or that one this contains as a lot of information this is then only concerned with the D version and only with the B version so there you go uh, last thing last but not least etc LSB release this guy let's change this otherwise I don't know later on what I've done actually actually this is actually 18.12.1 uh, since that's the number today and everything you download and update is actually that version already but of course the official release will be the 15th of december and it will have another number maybe 18.12.5 or something like that but basically we're in continuously uh, making updates and that's all you need to do update your system keep rolling and that's what this video is for to just keep rolling all right enjoy